Okay, so let's go ahead and get into your story. So you were born in L.A. Right. Which part? In Koreatown, Normandy, and 8th Street to be specific. Okay. Now, your mother, you said that she had worked 14-hour days in a sweatshop. Correct. Uh, to support the family. Uh, where was your father around during this time? So I never met my real father, but the person that I thought was my father, he raised me until the age of three, and he was in and out of the picture. They had their, they had their issues within the household, and I found out like at 11 years old or 12 years old that he wasn't my actual dad, but he was a great dad when he was, when he was in the picture. Okay, where was your real father? You know, I never, I never met him. I understand that he's from um, from Argentina. I would guess him. Yeah, he was just never in the in the picture. Your mom never explained the story. My mom it. never explained the story. And I remember finding out when it was time for me to go ahead and play baseball, and you had to show your birth certificate to the little league things. And then my the, the name wasn't the name of the dad that I thought um, was my dad. It was the same name of my, my, my little brother, my step um, brother. His, you know, my stepdad's name was on the birth certificate, but yeah. Do you think that there was something inside that bothered you, that your own father had abandoned you and not wasn't in your life that maybe made you look for a father figure in the streets? I, th there, there might have been something like that to a certain extent but again the father that i had my step that he was a he used to take us to disneyland to magic mountain um to ball games carne asada so okay. just give me money he, he was there so you had a father figure yeah i he, i had a father um figure for for sure and i think when i started going into the streets is i took my mom's love for unconditional love and i took advantage of that and i took that as 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 like mandatory, if you was some type of way, or for granted. And it was more, more me being curious. And there was a time also where I used to even get bullied by the MS members as um, as well. So it was kind of trying to find my own identity and try to gain that respect, power, and pride, if you will. So at 13, you were walking down the street and an mm -hmm. MS-13 member put a gun in your face right. and robbed you. Right. That was the first time something like that had happened? Specifically, I will go ahead and, and probably say, yeah, something like that to me. But me seeing it as a, as a kid, you know, even younger than that, I remember hearing the gunshots and um, even seeing the shootings as a kid or people getting shot at. Okay. So you have a gun pointed at you. Right. Uh, did they take anything from you? Yeah, they took a, a Michigan jacket that my mom had bought me. I guess they liked the M in the back. Yeah. That was a time when people were wearing like the whole Yas Michigan things yeah. in LA. So you get robbed at gunpoint. Mm -hmm. And you basically have to wake up the next day and go back in this neighborhood where the kid that robbed you is still probably moving around somewhere. Right. So now you're you're feeling a sense of danger, mm -hmm. I assume. Right. No, absolutely. It it was just going from point A to point B just to even go to um to the school. I will have to jump over neighbor's fence heads so I won't go ahead and see um, gang members. But when I got to the point where I couldn't go to the local fast food place because there was um, gang presence right there. But as soon as I left that neighborhood and went to another one, there was another gang over there and then another gang over there and then another gang over there. So I was kind of walking between the lines everywhere where you turn, there was some type of gang violence. I just happened to have lived right there in the MS neighborhood. What were the other gangs around there outside of MS? Well, you have different gangs such as um, Drifters, um, Alley Boys, Aslan, Mid-City, Playboys. Okay, these were all uh, Chicano gangs. These were all Chicano gangs, right. So in your neighborhood, you started to see the MS-13 guys being celebrated. Mm -hmm. I guess there was a, a guy in the neighborhood that everyone really looked up to. Right. What was his name? Nelson. Nelson. Mm-hmm. So you're seeing this and you're getting affected by this type of praise and, and stature. So you actually decided to join MS-13 yourself. Right. These were the Normandy Locos. Right. Well, I initially went into the, there was a click called 7-Eleven, then I got into the Normandies. Okay. Uh, you were jumped in? Correct. 13 seconds? Yes, it was 13 seconds, right. Okay. 
How bad did you get hurt? You know what? It, it, it wasn't. Um, I seen beatdowns from from jump ins, and I'm always all like, man, he a guy really got it bad. But I seen other jump ins where I was all like, um, okay. And I seen other jump ins where you know. Before the jump in, this friend talks to this friend and says, hey, you better count faster. Right? You got me? You got me, dog? So, so it's different things in that nature. And my jump in was 13 um, seconds, but it wasn't something while I was laying in a puddle in the, in the floor. I think it was two or three guys that, um, that jumped me and a couple of more of my friends, um, a couple more of my friends in. And the reason during that time, it was like the tag banging days where, um, you know, different taggers or people were starting to to join to join gangs, if you will. And me and my other friends said, you know what, let's just go. If we're going to join a gang, let's just go ahead and join um, MS, the one that's the biggest and most dangerous, if you will. And that's what happened. You were 14 years old at the time. 14. So your street name became Clever. Right. Why that name? You know, I, I get asked that a lot because I chose the name and then I got into the gang and I kept getting arrested. And I remember the people in there, hey, why did they call you clever, man? I thought you were clever. <laughs> what happened? And I was like, I don't know, even the, the other uh, gang members, why, why are they calling you clever? And the reason that I came up with that name was because right before I joined the, the gang, the night before, you're thinking about, okay, what's going to be your name or they're going to go ahead and, um, and give you your names. And if you're from MS, I mean, the history of the MS stuff, I mean, there's guys that have been named, you know, Chancleta or Palo de Coco. <laughs> I mean, there's some, some some names, right? And I didn't want to be called Flaco or Smokey because everybody <laughs> has that name already, if you will, or Largo. And I went to a unique name and I was like, you know, for some reason, it just, I was writing stuff down and I was like, okay, I'll just go ahead and put Clever because nobody else has that name. So I wanted to go ahead and be unique. And the reason that I chose that name Clever was because I knew that I was gonna get arrested i knew that i was gonna go ahead and, and go to juvenile hall so when i and in and, and juvenile hall you got your your respect and you got your rep by fighting so in there i didn't and there's different clicks from ms so i didn't want to be confused uh with somebody else's name or that person taking my my credibility that i just fought this gang member if you will okay and your mother is salvadorian no so my mom is from mexico from michoacan Aha, and your dad's Argentinian. And my dad's Argentinian. So you're not Salvadorian at all. No, I'm not Salvadorian at that. And the father that raised me was Colombian. And if you want to mix it up even more, I was born and raised in Koreatown. When you have, there's different cultures of Korean, Japanese, Asian, Hondureños, and, you know, all sorts of places from Latin America. Okay, so MS-13 doesn't restrict its membership to Salvadorians? You know, in the beginning, it was it, it was predominantly an MS group. And the reason they started joining MS because there was other gangs that didn't like the liking that they were from Salvador. You know, they weren't accepted because of that. But as time went on, I was like the end of the first generation, kind of the beginning of the second generation, where I was one of the few that started to get MS-13 with the, with the, with the Chicano background, if you will. Mm -hmm. 